Welcome back to the KB Data Science Channel. It's time to run my uh, COVID-19 analysis in six-minute reports. The first of these six-minute reports is this country of Spain. As you may recall, Spain has continued to struggle with both cases and deaths. I just take we can maybe we see a little bit of relief for them in today's numbers. Okay, you can see Spain is averaging uh, 4,425 26 cases per day, but only 125, 126 deaths. But the, the bad news is they, they, they are continuing to trend above the average mortality rate for the whole data, which is this red horizontal line. If you look at deaths, this, of course, you all know about this problem. So if you look at this, uh, if you look at the blue, blue as I can see, that takes us up to about, uh, what, 33,000 cases per day now. If you look at this, you can see that this is bringing us up to about uh, 410 deaths per day. Nothing in there. Just just dip followed by a second spike here. Now let's take a look at the weekly numbers. The weekly numbers are not good. Uh, you had these three huge spikes uh, for the previous three weeks as far as cases. Deaths had a single spike, but then it appeared to settle back down. So this, I guess to a certain extent, well, this would be about a thousand deaths at this line right here. Okay. Uh, you know, the, the monthly cases is not good. It's just one, two, three, four, five straight months of increasing cases, despite various uh, measures to contain the pandemic. And you can see here that uh, the Bloomer's deaths one was certainly past October's deaths to come. So, th so if you're in Spain, you know, I'm not sure what you need to do. You need to, I don't know what you need to do to bring your deaths under control. Although, although there's not a direct relationship between the number of deaths and the number of cases. But anyway, thanks so much for your time. We'll catch you on the next report.